<sighs> what are you two doing here? Can't you see outsiders aren't welcome? We didn't see a sign. The dozens of ghosts, ghouls, and mazy forest wasn't a clue? Well, I guess in hindsight... Anyway, what do you want? I'm very busy. Unless you've got cash, then I'm slightly less busy. Did you cast a spell on our friend Marion? Dunno, I cast lots of spells. Describe her. Long blonde hair, workout clothes, legendary abs. Yeah, I did. But only because I was paid to do so, so don't get all in my case about it. How'd you two know about that anyway? We broke her out of the spell. You what? Were we, uh, not supposed to do that? Do you have any idea how expensive that spell was? It required rare artifacts that are not cheap. And with my stupid guarantee, now it comes out of my pocket to cast it again. I swear, I told that demon we shouldn't offer that. <sighs> well, you could just, like, not put her back under a spell. Don't tell me how to do my job, okay? I'm a lot better at what I do than whatever the hell you two do. We punch and kick people. Sometimes wrestling moves, too. Cute. And how, pray tell, did you break my spell over Marion? With, uh, punching and kicking? And wrestling moves, like we said. Well, that's very annoying and rude. And now I'm gonna have to destroy you both. So don't take it personally, but also don't fight it, because I've got a terrible headache right now. Ugh, just like leave or whatever. Get him, Apple Tater!
apple tater. Four. Beat, you got me. Those were some wicked moves, though. I wish we knew how to do magic like that. I can teach you, if you've got money. Yeah? It's a lot of money, though. Oh, we're generally pretty poor. Yeah, I figured. So, piss off and leave me alone? I've already wasted too much time on you two. Wait, before we go, we need to know, why were you controlling Mary? I told you already. Because I got paid. And really well, too. Yeah, but by who? <sighs> okay. Well, this all goes back a few years. I was born into magic. Literally. My dad was a stage magician, and mom was a fortune teller. They loved their jobs, and they loved each other. Aw, that's sweet. I love a good love story. But over time, their love faded. They needed more in their lives. So they cast a special spell, and nine moons later, I came along. How's that work? I'll, uh, explain it to you later. They taught me everything they knew at a young age. I was a powerful witch by age four, controlling creatures and minds by age six. Wait, like dark art stuff? You don't hang out with that Yamada guy, do you? He's a poser. Right? But one day, Dad took one of his tricks too far, and it vanished them both from this realm. Forever. Plot twist! That is so sad. I was left to fend for myself, and there was no chance in hell, which is very real, by the way. I'd be sent to an orphanage, so I set up shop here in Flatirons and started selling my potions, spells, whatever. Wait, can we go back to this hell is real thing? Don't distract her, the story's just getting good. A few years ago, this funny little Yakuza weasel shows up at my shop. <laughs> Sounds like Ken. Talking about how big a deal he is, how important his dad is. Definitely Ken. They put me on their payroll and covered my expenses if I would just make myself available for any spells, readings, or incantations they ever needed. Anything for money, huh? Hey, a witch has gotta survive. I wiped her mind, gave control of her to the Yakuza, and that's the last I heard. Until you two came around. But to be honest, those Yakuza were getting pretty annoying anyway. Always bugging my customers. I've been thinking of breaking our deal soon. You should, and come help us instead. Mm, help you what? Take back the city and defeat Ken and his Yakuza army. Yeah, well, I didn't mean to give the wrong impression, but I don't give a rat's ass about any of that. Oh. 
However, if you two promised to come around my shop now and then, pick up the business I would have had with them, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. I knew you were good at heart. Don't you ever say that about me again. <laughs> Got it. Here, take my emblem. You'll need it to get back out of the forest. Oh, shiny. And expensive looking. Don't sell it. You might need it later. The Yakuza gave an emblem to each of their special employees, like myself. Other witches? <laughs> Hardly. I took care of their spells. Another their food. The girl their social media. Well, thanks for your help, Blair. We'll be back, I'm sure. You better. And bring cash. I'm not helping you out for... friendship. Not even a little? No. Okay, yeah, we'll bring cash. Thanks for the emblem.